So today we're going to be catching up with my friend Hank Haznin, heading to the Ferrari and Porsche Australia Day meetup. Now it is Australia Day so I thought nothing better than to do something fun with cars, catch up with some mates and um, I'm really keen to see the demographic. I've never been to a meetup quite like this one and I think it's going to be a good day. So uh, let's see how this goes. So I'll be sure to film it. Firstly going to pick up my friend Hasnin from his apartment and then we'll meet up in Leaderville and then we'll head to this place in Ascot. There he is. Hey dude, how's it going? Look at those eyes. <laughs> oh, shining <laughs> Alright bro. So just caught up with Hank. He's in that 32 right there. Oh my god, this is so overexposed. What am I going to do? But we're heading straight to Ascot and we'll be there soon. Oh uh, yeah, I think so. They did a bit of renovation up here. Yeah, they changed the setup. I hope it's more race oriented. in this loop. That car is probably as old as us. So we just got to this awesome location where you can see all the Ferraris and Porsches lined up at the back uh, with Hasneen, Hank and 458 just rocked up. Very nice. Back in those days, I'll let you, a lot of people don't realise, the, the, the run actually was designed to start around quarter to five, six to five o'clock for a, an evening run because what happened in the afternoon, sky show. Where were all the police? Sky show. <laughs> Who was out on the roads? Hardly anybody. So. Oh, is that uh, factory or? No, I don't think so. Oh, okay, maybe that's why. Where they'd have to have a rollover hoop for any convertible car. Oh, yeah. But since the law never went through, mm -hmm. Porsche sort of was left with an already designed car, but they released it anyway and it became. Yeah, there was a general filter that you put. Put something about Australia. Drive test. 